Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, where I explore the fascinating history and culture of the world. Today we are going to talk about Queen Juana of Castile, also known as Juana the Mad, who ruled over Spain in the 16th century. But who was Juana and why was she called Mad? And how did she become a victim of her own family's ambition and greed? Juana was born in 1479, as the third child and second daughter of Ferdinand and Isabella, the Catholic monarchs who united Spain and sponsored Christopher Columbus's voyage to the New World. Juana was a beautiful and intelligent princess, who received a good education and learned several languages. She was also a devout Catholic, who inherited her parents' zeal for the faith. Juana's life changed when she was 16 years old, when she was married to Philip the Handsome, the son of the Holy Roman Emperor Maximilian I. Philip was a handsome and charming prince, who ruled over Burgundy and the Netherlands. The marriage was arranged by Juana's parents as part of their political alliance with the Habsburg dynasty, which dominated Europe at the time. Juana and Philip had a passionate and turbulent relationship. They were attracted to each other physically, but they also had frequent arguments and conflicts. Philip was a notorious womanizer, who cheated on Juana with many mistresses. Juana was a jealous and possessive wife, who tried to keep Philip under her control. They also had different personalities and interests. Philip was outgoing and sociable, while Juana was introverted and melancholic. They also had different views on politics and religion. Philip was ambitious and pragmatic, while Juana was loyal and devout. Despite their differences, Juana and Philip had six children together, who would become important figures in European history, Eleanor, Charles, Isabella, Ferdinand, Mary, and Catherine. Their eldest son Charles would inherit both his parents' crowns and become Charles V, the most powerful monarch in history. Juana's fate took a tragic turn when her mother Isabella died in 1504, leaving her as the heir to Castile, one of the largest kingdoms in Spain. Juana's father Ferdinand wanted to keep his power and influence in Castile, so he tried to exclude Juana from her inheritance and rule as her regent. He also tried to arrange a second marriage for her with King Henry VII of England, the father of Henry VIII. Philip also wanted to claim Juana's rights in Castile, so he challenged Ferdinand's authority and supported Juana's cause. He also tried to persuade Juana to leave Spain with him and their children and move to his lands in Burgundy. However, Juana refused to leave her homeland or abandon her mother's legacy. She also refused to obey her father or her husband, asserting her own will and independence. This led to a bitter conflict between Ferdinand and Philip, who fought for Juana's custody and control. They both used propaganda and rumors to discredit each other and undermine Juana's credibility. They both accused Juana of being mad, unstable, and unfit to rule. They both tried to isolate her from her friends and allies, confine her in various castles and convents, and manipulate her with threats and promises. Juana suffered greatly from this situation, which affected her mental health and emotional stability. She became depressed, paranoid, and erratic. She also developed an obsessive attachment to Philip, whom she loved despite his infidelity and cruelty. She followed him everywhere he went, even when he tried to escape from her or lock her up. She also refused to let go of his corpse when he died in 1506 from a fever, carrying it with her for months in a coffin. Juana spent the rest of her life as a prisoner of her own family, who used her as a pawn in their political games. Her father Ferdinand kept her under his control until his death in 1516, when he passed his power to his grandson Charles. Charles then became the King of Spain as Charles I, and later the Emperor as Charles V while Juana remained as the nominal queen of Castile until her death in 1555. Juana died at the age of 75, after spending almost 50 years in captivity. She was buried next to Philip in Granada, in the same tomb that her parents had built for themselves. She was forgotten by history for centuries, until she was rediscovered by modern historians and writers who have tried to restore her dignity and reputation. Juana's story is one of the most tragic and fascinating stories in history. It shows how a woman who had everything, beauty, intelligence, wealth, power, love, lost everything, freedom, happiness, respect, justice, peace. It also shows how a woman who was a queen became a victim of her own family's ambition and greed. 
Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions.